welcome back to FS22 and today we are taking a look at a mod by Casa Farms which is the Dynamic Bale Storage which is a pack of three sheds which you can auto load bales into you can also put loose product into them and it will turn them into bales so let's have a look at it shall we um, if we go in to the construction menu they are under silos um, and said so there are three there is one that holds straw and hay bales that will hold about 1.8 million liters of each the capacity is based pretty much on a an estimate by casa about how many bales you could fit in one of these sheds one that holds straw hay and silage that holds about 1.2 million liters of each and then one that will hold straw hay silage and grass and that will hold about 900,000 liters of each um, some slightly cool features about these sheds is they are color selectable uh, and also if you click on the shed you can rename it um, so this currently is available on Casa Farms Itch.io site. The link for that is below. It has been submitted to Mod Hub, but is going through the uh, really long wait to get it on to the Mod Hub. It's PC only mod because it involves scripts. So once it's on the Mod Hub, it will still only be for PC and not for console. Um, so I've got all three placed down here. This is the straw and hay shed when it is completely full. Uh, the bales do have collision once they're in there, so you, uh, you can't run into the shed. Um, they have really good storage sheds as well. You can get quite a lot in them. So you can see here we've got a combine, a Crone Big M, a front loader, a TLX pickup, a, a Fent 900, and a John Deere 7810 on a feed wagon. We'll come to the feed wagon in a bit. Um, you can obviously if you've only put a few bales in you can still use them for storage as well um, let's take a look at this guy that is empty at the moment so here we have the trigger for spawning bales I'll go through that in more detail in a moment our bales spawn here this is also a fill trigger so this can act like a silo and that lets you do some really cool things which we'll come on to later in the video and this is the loading point which will take loose product and bales as I said uh, we've got a light trigger which runs all the way along the front of the shed and we've also got a couple of light switches here right, so let's start putting some product in and see what happens so I've got a trailer full of grass here as I said we can put in loose or baled products um, if you want to add in so you, depending on which one you select you can only add the specific amount for each type you couldn't take the uh say the, the one over there that's got just straw and hay in and fill it with just straw to 3.6 million liters the storage is split between the product types and as we tip the grass in you will see that we start to get grass bales appearing and they have collisions on them so as you walk over them you do step up a little bit but as I said you could then use the front of the shed to uh to store equipment still so let's get rid of that trailer an interesting thing or slightly frustrating thing that i will come on to is that if you put unfermented silage bales in they will appear as grass that is a limitation of the game at the moment that you uh, you can't get them to ferment once they are in the shed so you will need to let your grass bales or your silage bales ferment before you add them into the shed that is covered in the description of the mod but i'm going to say it several times and i'm going to show you what happens if you don't do that so we've got a trailer full of straw bales here these are auto loaded on to the Roland bale trailer and if we just drop those off in the trigger we'll see that they disappear and spawn over in the corner there so we'll just drop this trailer off over here uh, which you can see is poised to demonstrate the uh, the grass silage bale feature um, and we've got some silage bales and some hay bales here on the two base game stackers so we'll just have a quick look at those so i really like this mod um 
depending on the scale of farm that you're running sometimes stacking the volume of bales that you're going to get can get really tedious and depending on the spec of your computer obviously having a lot of bales live in the game can cause you issues with uh, fps drops and this is this is a way of you know if you, if you do want to create all those bales but then you you haven't got the pc that can store them um, because these aren't actually dynamic bales you don't get fps drops so you know i'm still sitting um, up at solid 60 fps on here and um, there are no errors in the log either um, so i helped cassa test this mod while he was developing it and it has a clean log file as well so let's just drop these guys off and then we'll have a quick look in the shed and you'll see all the different collisions and things and I guess one thing um, if you put round bales in they do appear as square bales it's just the way this has been implemented into the game um, and whatever coloured silage bales you put in they will appear as white silage bales but yeah, you see we are our stacks of bales starting to appear with our collisions and I so say you could then use the front of this shed for some storage so let's have a look at taking some stuff out, shall we? So if we hit the R key here, we can uh, obviously choose which of our products that we want to spawn. And then we can choose what sort of bale we want. So we have all of the bale options available. We have the three round bale sizes and the three square bale sizes. And then you can pick just how many bales you want to spawn. And they'll appear here. Uh, they do, the size bales do appear as pink veils, but you know, we we'll just have to deal with that. We'll just get those out of the way. Just use the Anderson to clear those up. And then we'll have a look at using, we'll do the grass size bales actually next, and then we'll have a look at um, building trailers, and more importantly, more interestingly filling feed wagons so because this acts like a silo you can use one of these to mix tmr which i think is a really cool feature um yes it's not 100 percent realistic but if you're running a really big farm and you've got a lot of tmr to mix then uh, it can be really good um, because you can bulk make your tmr and you can get all your bales in the shed and then uh simulate having and someone else load the feed mixer up for you let me just get these bales cleared out of the way and we'll get to that so i just got those cleared out of the way and we're just making some nice fresh silage bales up just to demonstrate what happens with those i'm going to place down a new shed just so you can see that um, more clearly because we've put some grass and some silage in that shed already so just make it a little bit easier to uh, not have to worry about doing the sums of which which part of the silo they're going to I only have four bales there's two things that I want to demonstrate or one thing I want to demonstrate and one thing I actually want to test and which I didn't think of until just now so we will uh, give that a try and that's what happens um, if you have a shed that doesn't have grass as an option for an input and then we will get into looking at filling trailers and doing some TMR because that's just such a cool feature and pull the, uh, the case out of the way with the slow bail jump back in the class and I've just got the Anderson on here for the first one so just to confirm these are unfermented silage bales so they are filled with grass and we'll just pick a couple up and we'll put down a couple of new sheds silos barns um so i want to put down two i want to put down the one that we've been using that takes all four products and then we'll also put down one that takes hay, straw, and silage, so that one doesn't have grass as an input. 
So let's head on over to the uh, this one, which will take grass as an input. So we've got unfermented silage bales on here. got those pushed off of the trailer and we will see that they have gone in as grass there's not enough in there for it to show as a, uh, a bale and if we grab the other two we're going to go over to the uh, the shed that the other shed that I put down which takes straw hay and silage and we'll see what happens in fact we'll just grab the one because one will be enough to demonstrate what I think is going to happen Because this should be an unsupported product because it doesn't take grass. We'll just wait the 15 minutes for it to slide down at the back of the Anderson. And there we go. And uh, yeah, that guy is just sitting there. So you could just stack them up next to the shed and then as they ferment, they will go in to the uh, into the storage which is definitely an, an option uh, if you're not baying grass which is not something that I do particularly a huge amount of right let's pick the trailer up first we'll quickly demonstrate this and then we'll grab the feed wagon because that I think is one of the amazing features of this mod Alright, we can just pick what we want and it will appear as if from magic. Um, just let's, gives you the option of doing it in a play the game however you want. So, so you can f you can f take your bales and put them in as a loose product. And then here we have got the uh, Fossin feed wagon. And we're just going to mix some TMR up. So if we pull up and we'll select hay now we'll do and then we'll select silage and we'll chuck a little bit of straw in as well just for the heck of it and there we go TMR mixed super quick um, really like this mod really cool Casa Farms check out his HIO page link is below and I'll catch you next time folks